right now I'm changing these sweeps. There's a slight difference there. You know, whenever my grandpa was around, my dad said he'd run them till there was nothing left. And my dad is a big fan of changing them once they're worn out. So I think I've put on about 12 so far and I got about eight more to put on. One of the biggest don'ts that I get told is don't put your finger on that whenever it spins. Because these get very sharp whenever they get worn we actually had an employee that did that one time he had to go get five stitches in his finger and uh he never came back so i think these are all the ones that we take them off our new corn head we bought. We bought it off the YouTuber Corky Farms out of Indiana. It's a chopping capello head. It has a mower blade style as some YouTubers call it, but we had a non-chopping head before. This is an upgrade for us. This is our old corn head that is currently for sale, but I believe it's spoken for, but you know how some people speak for things. Twenty-two oh eight, thirty-inch corn head, non-chopping. It's been a good corn head. It was just time for an up upgrade. Very little breakdowns with it. So we're gonna go join them. See how much fun we can have before we get shut down by dad. This is unacceptable, I have to steer this thing. It's working pretty good right now. I haven't got a phone call from my father yet telling me to put the damn thing in the shed, so we're gonna go we'll send her. Still going at it. It's been about 25 minutes. I put the planter away so it didn't get all dusty. But uh, you can see the dog having some fun. Yes, I know. I need to clean my windows. I know, I know. She's um pretty tight in here with the planter. 24 row planter. Tractor. Tractor and field cultivator. 
don't leave really too much room to spare. I think this calls for a, a bigger shed. Right out here in the barn where we keep a lot of our parts. This is kind of top secret. But uh, as you can see, there's a ton truck. A few bodies out here, fenders. More fenders. And we are trying to get to this, our seat tender. And uh, looks like we're gonna have to move quite a bit of stuff to get it out, like normal. That'll make my um, father real impressed that we just stack shit in front of it, which we have shelves to put up along this back wall here. So a lot of this stuff can get put up. Some of these bodies are for sale just need a buyer when we get all these bodies out here we should have some room some shelves put stuff up on it should be good we got most of the shed dug out we're gonna put this body right in front of that body we're gonna put these these fenders right to the side of it we're gonna put these other two boxes those two and this, this one, right over here probably. I thought about putting this body right back over here, so we'll have more room here. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that today or not. But uh, yeah, we got the seat tender out, so mission accomplished for that. Now it's just putting all this stuff back in here. Nobody believes it, but this is, this is what a body starts out as. A bunch of parts. And then we fire glass them together. And you eventually get the end result. This body is actually a copycat of the Salt Shaker Express. Which I'll have our editor put a picture of it down below right after this clip. But this is what that started out as. A lot of work. And then they ended up putting those back fenders on it. Because they liked them better than these ones which I can't agree so they had to cut them off here and then mold those other ones on and then recently this summer with the new wider tires and pulling they had to cut them off right down the middle here and add a few inches so the new tires would clear their body or fenders here the sleeper is outside you can see it's pretty rough. Like I said, it was supposed to do a tornado. Just got taken off the truck that he's getting made into his new toter for pulling. It is for sale. I don't even know how much he wants for it, but it is for sale. I always hate this part, everything gets so tipsy. No matter how fast you go. We got it rearranged. Got all the bodies on this side over here, minus the fenders. Those are getting painted soon. Seat tender here so we can pull it out next week and wash it. Bodies rearranged. This body up against the wall. And then, yeah, you ever wonder why it takes so long for your stuff to get painted? This is how this box came out of the truck. So you can imagine how those fenders look. But uh, we got those fenders there. And now we have all this room here. 
And once the seat tender's out, we'll have plenty of room. This car, I just washed the seat tender. It was real nasty. And right now I'm spot free rinsing it so that way it doesn't water spot. Because everybody knows how black water spots in the sun. But this is supposed to prevent it. tractor was given to me back in I think 2019 or 2020 I think it was COVID year but I ran it to drag like all the rock I ran it and I decided I wanted to restore it so we painted it all we had engine work done one of my dad's employees dad he pulled the motor out of it went through it all and changed some of the electronics to update it so whenever something does fail we don't have to pay an arm and a leg for that part. Look at that. We're cleaning this section out so we can put the toter up over here and then put everything else right to the side of it so that we have a lot of room in the center so they can pull trucks in and out a lot easier. And the toter's just out of the way over here. So we have to get everything out of here and then pull that out and back it in this door. This is what it looks like with the toter put up against the wall. There's a lot more stuff than there normally is out in here because we're calling for hail tonight. But we got a lot of shit packed away in here. Going nuts. Getting a lot done, Jordan. This is going on the YouTube.